Hi, 5B friends, and welcome back to the Miss Clark's Class channel. In Science Night, the school year is in full motion, and Miss Clark wants to make sure her students are staying on track. Let's see what she has in mind for today's lesson. Chapter 14 is called Ask a Question and is narrated by Robbie. If you have your own copy of Science Night, we're on page 61. It's day three of school, and thankfully my bus arrived on time this morning. As I walk into the classroom, Miss Clark is writing our morning assignment on the whiteboard, and Julie is entering weather information into Miss Clark's computer. Hey, Julie, I holler across the classroom. What happens when it's raining cats and dogs? I don't know what, she asked. You have to be careful not to step in a poodle, I exclaim. We both laugh, and even Miss Clark lets out a small chuckle. Good one, she replies. I'll make sure to tell that to my dad. I flinch and she pretends not to notice. It's just an automatic response when someone says dad. Just then, the bell rings and kids stream into the classroom. Mary Sue glares at me as I head to Miss Clark's podium. Class, please take your seats, I loudly say while smiling at Mary Sue. After roll call and Julie's weather report, Miss Clark points to the whiteboard in front of the class. Ask a question is written in big letters. All right, scientists, Ms. Clark says. Over the next two weeks, I'm going to ask for updates on the status of your science project to encourage you not to wait until last minute to start it. Today, I want you to simply write the question you hope to answer by doing research and conducting an experiment. Mary Sue raises her hand. Yes, Mary Sue, Ms. Clark says. What if we don't know what we want to do yet? She asks. That's okay for now, answers Ms. Clark. Just write down that you don't have a topic on a sheet of paper and make sure you brainstorm ideas tonight. I pull out a blank sheet from my notebook and look around the classroom to check out my competition. Mary Sue, who sits beside me, quickly writes no question yet on her paper. Emilio, who sits behind me, is just staring at his blank paper. So far, I'm not worried. I look to my left and see a girl named Sadie already answering her question and Julie vigorously writing while biting her lower lip, intense. I turn back to my paper and write, does distance from a field goal affect kick accuracy? I realize that even though I really wanna win first place, I'm more excited that Daniel and I will be hanging out again. So that's it for chapter 14. Although it was a short chapter, there was a lot of information packed into it. We got a glimpse of Ms. Clark as she encourages her students to stay on track with their science projects. And we saw Robbie flinch when Julie mentioned her dad. I wonder what that's about. Families come in all different shapes and sizes. And from what we know so far, Robbie lives with his grandmother and his brother, Daniel. I wonder if their father is the source of tension between the two brothers. Gotta stay tuned to find out. Make sure you click to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. Until next time, class dismissed.